Hello everyone, welcome to St Clement's for our collective worship for this week. And this week we had a special day in the church year. Um, as you know, we can divide the, the year into different ways. We can divide it into four, and we call those the seasons, uh, summer, autumn, winter, spring. We can divide the year into 12, and we call those months, January, February, March, April. Uh, in church, we divide it in a, two different ways. We divide it according to stories in the life of Jesus as a way of helping us go through Jesus' life and remember the important bits. So the first big section are three seasons we bunch together, which are all around uh, Jesus' birth and who he was and who he is and where he's from. And we start at Advent. I don't know if you remember, we lit these candles through Advent. Uh, and then we lit this one on Christmas Day. Uh, and so we don't quite get rid of all our Christmas decorations in church after 12 days, because we keep some of them for candle mass, because we're still in the same kind of season, remembering about who Jesus was and how he was born and, and what it means. So we still keep, I don't know if you can see it down there at the bottom, our crib, there's our Christmas crib, Ooh. down there, uh, and um, that will be there till Sunday when we celebrate Candlemas Day, um, and Candlemas is called that because traditionally everyone would bring their candles and get them blessed for the whole year. We tend not to bring the candles anymore because we've all got electric lights. Uh, but everyone still gets a candle, uh, and we normally have a sort of procession uh, at the end. We gather around the crib and the altar, and then we process to the font. Gathering around is not a thing we can do at the moment. We've got to keep our social distancing, so we're going to do something else. Uh, and on this last day of this sort of super season, from Advent to Candlemas, we, on Candlemas we remember the final story uh, we have from when Jesus was a baby and it's when he was taken to the temple so just uh, like today sometimes when a baby's born mum and dad might bring uh, the baby here to be baptized or they might take it to a mosque or a synagogue or a temple uh, uh, to say sort of thank you prayers for the safe arrival of this baby so that's what they did in Jesus time they took babies to the temple and they gave a gift to say thank you for the safe arrival of this baby. Uh, so that's what Mary and Joseph did in this story. They go to the big temple in Jerusalem, uh, and it's, it's vast. Uh, and in the temple, there was a, a really old priest who'd worked there for many, many years. Simeon had um, been working in the temple for decades. Um, and he kept working. Because he had this sense, he felt he had this promise from God that he wouldn't die, he wouldn't stop working until he had seen the special person that Jesus was going to be, the special person that Jesus, that God rather, was going to send, the baby Jesus. A person who would, who would speak of God's love and mercy and forgiveness and help people to, to draw back to him. So Simeon was waiting. He'd been waiting for many years to see God start this great work and he's in the temple and Mary and Joseph come with the baby and Simeon recognizes him somehow I think he gets a little nudge from God's spirit and he recognizes that in this baby is the the one God has sent God's chosen one the son of God the Messiah um, and he's so relieved he's so happy he's finally seen this 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 child uh, and he knows that God is about to be at work uh, and help people. Uh, and so he said a kind of poem, a prayer, a poem, uh, to show how happy he was and how relieved he was to finally see this baby. And he said something like, uh, Lord, now you can let me go in peace. I'm ready to rest now. Now you can let me go in peace. For with my own eyes, I have seen the child that you have sent. Um, this child will be a light to lighten the nations. Everybody everywhere will uh, be, can be lit by this child. 
Um, and you'll also be the glory of your people Israel, your special Jewish people. Um, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to your word. For mine eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all people, a light to lighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. So Simeon knew he could rest now. He had seen uh, the child. He'd done his life's work. Uh, it was time to rest. Uh, we've seen something of that this week in the news. I don't know if you saw, but Captain Sir Tom uh, sadly died this week, didn't he? 100 years old. Um, he'd had a, a, a long life. Um, so it's always sad when people die. Let's not pretend otherwise. Uh, but sometimes after people have had a long life, um, they're ready to rest. And, and as well as being sad, we should be thankful uh, and remember them with thankfulness for all the things they did. Um, so what's interesting, I think, about Simeon, the old man in the temple back at Jesus' time, and Sir Tom, now in our time, is they were both really old men, really old um, and yet they were still doing things for other people. They were still working for other people. Um, so in that story from uh, Jesus is, as a baby, we see that people, no matter what age, you can be really small and young or really old, uh, you can still do things for other people. So Sir Tom, he kept, kept working for the people, raising money for NHS charities, didn't he? Uh, Simeon kept working and praying in the temple till he was ready to go. Uh, and it's sad when people die, uh, but we can also be grateful and thankful for all they did. Um, so that's, that's the story. Jesus coming to the temple, presented and being recognised. He was recognised by Simeon, and he was also recognised by a lady called Anna, who was also very old and had been praying in the temple for a long time. And she went and told everyone that she'd finally seen the person God had sent. So that's what we remember. We remember the baby, we remember Anna, we remember Simeon. We remember that um, no one is too old or too young um, to work for other people, to be kind, to be caring, to be generous. Uh, and we've especially seen that this, this year with Sir Tom and all the people who've been working and looking after and protecting people and keeping people safe. Now, on Sunday, we will say some special prayers at the end of the service. As I think I said, normally we have a procession and we all get our own candle and we gather around the crib and then the font. Um, we're not allowed to gather at the moment. We've got to keep our social distancing and everyone stays in their chairs through the services. So um, we're going to do it in a slightly different way, which I'm going to share with you now. So the response to the prayers, which you might like to join in, is praise to Christ our light. Let us pray. Father, we have sung your praise with shepherds and angels. May Christ be born in our hearts today. Praise to Christ our light. We have shared in the joy of Simeon and Anna. Help us, like them, to trust in you. Praise to Christ our light. We have greeted Jesus, the light of the world. May we be filled with the light of your love. Praise to Christ our light. We receive the light of Christ to lighten our path and show us your way. Praise to Christ our light. We carry the light of Christ to bring light and hope to the dark places of the world. Praise to Christ our light. We share the light of Christ so that all people may see your hope and love. Praise to Christ our light. Christ whose glory fills the skies Fill you with radiance and scatter the darkness from your path. Amen. 
Christ the Son of Righteousness, gladden your eyes and warm your heart. Amen. Christ, the day spring from on high, draw near to guide your feet into the way of peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. We now finish by listening to uh, a musical setting, famous musical setting of those words of Simeon that sung in cathedrals up and down the countries every single day. Oh.